Okay, I got the amplifier hooked up to the speaker, same way as I did with the um, receiver to the speaker. I'm going through the 70 volt line output, uh, actually the 70 volt line transformer on the speaker from the 70 volt line output of the amp. And I'm already hearing an answer to my own question or somebody saying uh, that's, that's why your stereo doesn't work with a PA speaker because it doesn't have a 70 volt line output. Well that may be true but I'm wondering what the circuitry is is made of like what's what's in the circuitry to allow the um, the PA amplifier to drive the 70 volt line transformer as opposed to a regular stereo unit and I know that the wattage is different 30 watts compared to 100 watts but I'm, I'm still curious to know exactly what's behind all of that but anyway I just activated my uh, little mp3 player that I hooked to the amp which is this right here and it's going through the 70 volt transformer see and as you can hear it's nice and loud now my question about the amplifier hookup is this if I hook up the amplifier to the 70 volt line output directly to the speaker without the transformer I do get sound but what what is the danger on that what is the danger on hooking the the amp from the 70 volt line output to the speaker directly without going through the transformer first because I did try it once and I was able to get full sound but for some reason I don't know if the amp seemed like it was overloading or if it's just because of the wrong output so I'm just going to do this very real, real briefly I got sound but I did notice that the uh, when, <coughs> when I turned on the amp the uh, just the sound of the amp was real loud so now what I'm going to do is go to the 8 ohm output which is where it should be and see what happens there seems to be sounding the same so this is this is a thing that always puzzled me why if if you hook a speaker up in different ways there's not much sound change but yet there can be harm to both your amp and your speaker so uh, if if anybody can really help me on this it would be greatly appreciated in that way I won't accidentally make a, a mistake in hooking a speaker to a wrong amplifier or hooking an amplifier to the wrong kind of speaker actually it's the same terminology uh, but it's all it's always puzzled me now I am aware of the impedance of the speakers where you have to match the impedance 4 ohm to 4 ohm 8 ohm to 8 ohm and 16 ohm to 16 ohm I am aware of that and I am aware of the wattage per se but I was also reading the manual on my uh, amplifier my PA amplifier that I have here let me just let me just 
hold it up a little bit so you can see what kind of amp it is. See, that's the MPA thirty uh, MPA ninety five by Radio Shack, and it's a very good amp. But they said in the manual that if you're using the seventy volt line transformer, that you cannot go beyond the wattage of your speaker hookup to the amplifier, and I always thought that if the wattage was lower on the speaker and the and higher on the amplifier that the speaker could blow out very easily. But if the wattage was higher on the speaker as opposed to the amp, it would be okay. So um, if if I could get good solid answers on this theory, it would be very very helpful and that way I'll have a good understanding of the uh, the speaker technology with different amplifiers so uh, all American 5 radio if you are watching this uh, please do some research and uh, probably the best way to do it would be to make that video so that way I have full understanding of the speaker technology and uh, what is the best way to use a speaker when dealing with different amplifiers. So until next time this is Music Man 0150 signing off and uh, if any of you other engineers out there or electronic hobbyists have any answers please comment as well. Thanks for watching and have a great day.